Hello, Justice. Uh, Paul here with East Twin SEO. Um, I just wanted to make you a short video uh, showing you how to improve traffic to your website using backlinks, content, and citations. Um, I do appreciate you reaching out to me, and I'm happy to make these videos for you guys um, as long as it brings you some value, which I hope it does, uh, and that you can implement you know these these things yourself. And, uh, you know, hopefully start driving more traffic to your website if that's what you are looking for. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I have your website pulled up right here. Um, first off, uh, I do want to say that I am on a tablet, so it's a mobile device. I'm not on my desktop. Um, but I, the reason I do this is so we can take a look uh, at your site in mobile view because most people nowadays are going to be on some kind of mobile device when they're looking at uh, websites. So as we can see, um, it's not showing up. It's not filling the screen properly. Um, so that's definitely an issue for people searching on mobile device. Maybe not so much on a desktop. I do believe I looked at this on my desktop and it was fine filling the screen there. So you definitely want to make sure that your website is optimized not only for desktop but for mobile devices as well. Um, and then moving on from that, you do have you know a nice looking website. Uh, you have all your services up here on the header. Uh, you have contact us that looks like it's a floating with the page, which is always good. I do recommend having a phone number or a clickable phone number or a contact form right up somewhere at the top. So it's the first thing people see when they get here. And I'm not sure if you do have one and I just can't see it. Um, but that's a tip I got there. Um, another thing I will say is you definitely want to have more content it looks like there's a form down here at the bottom so that's good and you do have you know your location page down here or map down there um that's awesome <clears throat> but so content um it is recommended that you have at least 1500 words of content on your front page and the reason for that is google loves content um they are going to crawl your site um, they're going to go through all your content, go through all your pictures, what your pictures are saved as, um, and they're looking for keywords, keywords that are relevant to your uh, business, to your services, uh, to your location, to services that you offer. Um, any keyword that somebody is going to put into Google and you know search for a product or a service that's what they're looking for and the more times that you have a certain keyword uh, on your website multiple times the better chances you have of getting bumped up to that top uh, search result on the google organic search results um, also it is going to tell google that you know you know what you're doing you're a professional in your business um it kind of gives you a, an authoritative kind of uh place in google's eyes um and those are the kinds of websites that are going to end up showing up on the you know number one number two number three position on the google front page and that's definitely where you want to be uh, so speaking of that i did a google search for uh, hair salons in Sarasota. Uh, what you're going to see here at the top is this is the uh, top three map pack is what we call. And these three businesses right here, they're going to run about, you know, that 30% to 35, maybe a little more um, of business that comes in, they get right off the bat. So they're going to, 30% is going to pretty much account for most of their business right there. Um, the reason for that is they're in the top three. They're the first things that some people come in here and they see and they, you know, that's as far as they need to go. Um, so getting into that top three uh, is you going to require having your Google business profile filled out as much as possible um, with your business name, uh, business phone number, address, um, your hours of operation and so on you know fill it out as much as possible um, you want to have photos in there optimized for 
uh, SEO, you want to have your photos geotagged and all that. And then you want to have citations. So citations are going to be your information that uh, is in your Google business profile um, put into online directories. And those can be anything from Yelp, uh, Yellow Pages, Facebook, anything like that. There are tons of online directories that you can put your business name into that will, you know, give you these citations. Um, and think of it as a popularity contest. Um, you you want to have more citations than your competition, and that is what's going to get you into this top three map pack right here. And then moving on from that, you have your organic search results. So first thing at the top here, we have Yelp, which is an online directory. Uh, something that is not difficult to overtake. Um, if we keep going down, we have this Nuovo Salon group in Sarasota. So we're going to take a look at their page. Um, we can see they have a decent website. They have good pictures. Looks like they have some content on here. Um, they have click to action or call to action button and they have some good pictures it looks like it's you know pretty well mobile uh optimized for mobile too and they have a little pull up right here with some more information it looks like their facebook page uh, maybe testimonials um so they have a pretty decent local website um that's definitely you know something that you want to look into uh is optimizing your website for not only desktop but mobile views as well um so we're going to take these guys as well as your website and i'm going to put them into a tool that i use called rfs um, and it basically just helps me <clears throat> it gives me all the information um on your website how it's performing you know backlinks uh keywords that you're showing up for and so on so if we take a look at your website um you have 11 referring domains giving you 11 backlinks uh, you are showing up for 18 organic keywords. You're getting not a whole lot of traffic. Um, and your UR and DR are low. So these two numbers right here are very important. Uh, it's something you want to keep an eye on and try and, and move up uh, as much as possible. And you want to keep them not only high but in close ratio with each other. And so your UR is going to be... Uh, how a trust rating um in google's eyes how much google trusts your website and your you are i mean i'm sorry your dr is going to be a power rating in google's eyes how much power is you know going to your website or how powerful your website is um and that is going to have to do with these backlinks here so backlinks are exactly that they're just a link from another website or perhaps a uh, content blog that is going to have a link going back to your website when somebody clicks on it so basically you know it's a shout out from another website or a comment blog where somebody is talking about um hair salons or hair stylists um in your case you guys look like you specialize in curly hair so if there's a blog about that and somebody comments and says hey you know these guys are awesome um you should definitely go check them out you you want your hair done right you know they're talking good stuff about you you know, they're going to put a link up and it's going to go back to your website and that's going to give you uh, power or, you know, trust. And, and that's going to move these two numbers up and it's going to help you in um, your search results in being found on Google. So uh, speaking of backlinks, you not only want to have uh, more backlinks, but you want to have uh, good quality backlinks because not all backlinks are created equal. And what you really want to do is try and find uh, sites or you know comment blogs linking back to you that are relevant to your business um, and the services that you offer. So you are a hairstylist, a salon, you know anything that has to do with that kind of stuff. Uh, you hair products, you know you want them. Those are the kind of uh, backlinks that you want. You don't want random backlinks like from ice cream or, you know, a pizza shop or something like that. Linking back to your website uh, because in Google's eyes, that's going to look spammy and it's going to hurt your UR and DR uh, rating. And it's also going to affect your being found, in, you know, on Google. So if we take a look at your keywords that you're being found for, <clears throat> um, you don't have too much 
you are getting volume. But the problem with this is I feel like a lot of these are probably national keywords that so these are coming from you know all over the country so in, in this 100 volume here that's how many people are searching this keyword right here uh, per month so that's you know and these all add up and that is a lot of traffic that's coming you know or not that could be coming to your website but most of them probably are not um, a lot of these words look like they're not showing up they are on the back end of google so no they're not showing up at all so nobody's really going to see them um and that has to do with having you know the proper content and keywords uh on your website um so if we go back and we take a look at that new mobile salon group in sarasota we can see that their ur and dr is up higher they are closer in ratio to each other um they have 142 referring domains, giving them a little over a thousand backlinks. Um, they're getting found for 981 keywords, and they're getting a pretty decent amount of traffic per month. Uh, if we take a look at their keywords, right, they have their own name up there. They're getting 700 for that um, per month. This uh, a national keyword, um, but it's showing up probably the second page of Google. But then you have Hair Salon Sarasota, you know, first page. You have Salon Sarasota. You have the calligraphy haircut near me. 12, that's a ton of traffic. Just this, a thousand uh, people a month are searching hair salons in Sarasota. And they're showing up, you know, for that search on the first page of Google. And so these are the kinds of keywords that you want on your home page. And the more of those that you have on your home page, the more volume you're going to get coming to your website. The more customers you're going to get, and, you know, the more traffic you're going to get showing up. I know you have, um, it looks like you sell products on your page. So if you go to your product pages and you put some keywords, whether they be in the description or you can do your alt text, which is uh, what your pictures are saved as. Um, and Google is going to see those when they crawl your site. So you can definitely have some of those, those product pages show up on the first page of, of Google as well. And so that's definitely going to help you get found and get more traffic to your website. So in recapping, um, you're going to want to have 1,500 words um, of keyword-rich content on your front page of Google. And then you know put some keywords throughout your site, maybe on your product pages. Um, they help boost those pages up to the first page of Google. Um, you want to have your Google business profile filled out as much as possible. You want to get some citations on there. So make sure you're getting your Google business profile put into online directories um, as much as you can. And then you want to work on your backlink profile, which would you know entail going out there and getting... Uh, backlinks from other websites and comment blogs that are relevant to your services, uh, linking back to your site. And once all of those things together start working together, um, your site is going to start to rank up on the first page of Google. Um, you're going to start showing up on that top three of the map pack. Um, you're going to start showing up on the first page for Google search results. And you know from there, obviously, you're going to get more clients. Uh, you're going to get more sales. Uh, more people are going to buy your products. You're going to make more money, you know, all, you know, that stuff. So with that being said, I hope that this video was somewhat helpful to you. Um, these are definitely things that you can do yourself um, to help boost your, you know, traffic coming into your website. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, you can feel free to email me at the email here. Uh, this is my company, Eastwind SEO, uh, my phone number. Um, if you have any further questions or uh, comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it did bring some uh, value to you. And I would appreciate some feedback if you could just email me back. Um, I'll, I'll link it in my message that I send you. Um, just a few words would be great, whether you know it was helpful or whether it wasn't helpful or maybe you didn't understand some stuff. You can definitely reach out to me. Um, and I do appreciate you guys taking the time to check out this video. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you very much. I will talk to you later.